Good morning, guys. It's October 8th here. Uh, me and Fred are going to dart in after some more grouse. Um, doing my intro a little early here. We're just sitting here waiting for shooting light to head in the road a little bit. Um, with the open my, my box of ammo, I'm going with the 12 gauge today because I'm getting low on 16 gauge shells. So I bought um, that four shot. There's a Kent fast lead in it. Like, I just opened this box in front of Fred. Believe me if you want. <laughs> don't matter to me, because this is what happened. But, like, I've never seen that, and I don't even think they have anything to do with each other, so I don't know what the heck a can of fast lead would be doing in here. But that's sick. I'm half scared to shoot it. Oh, well, she's, like, <laughs> a dud or something. They're, like, I don't know, but cool. I like it's it made up the 25 in the box. It's just there like that. It's weird. But anyway, yeah, we're both we're, uh, rocking 12 gauge pumps here today. So if you see my last video, there's a bunch of roughies in uh, that one trail and grouse tend to live their lives around the same area. So we're gonna see if we can go down that trail again today and get some more than grouse. Or uh, obviously just drive the road and get some more because you're always gonna see different birds. So uh, it's a different day, different birds. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, me and Fred's going for a little walk down uh, the trail I was at yesterday and we honestly saw minimum 12 birds 12 it was all roughies too it's kind of crazy I'm like you can look around it's perfect habitat so we're gonna give her a little walk down here and uh just as we was getting out the truck we were at a cow ball I'm pretty sure it's down at the lake where we're headed so that's cool hopefully get some footage of a little moosey here today we spooked two just up here but at first, a uh, little mud hole. There was two on your left, right in that ditch. I don't expect them to be in the same spot, but might be in the same area. Oh God, this is sinky boy. <laughs> so we just drove a grouse, guys. Roughy right in the middle of the trail. I just ran, or I uh, flushed in here, sorry. I think he's up to your left a little more. Was that a grouse or like a big snipe? That, that was a grouse, wasn't it? Was that a grouse or a big snipe? Nah, that was too big to be a snipe, wasn't it? I didn't get a good look, but I think that was way too big to be a snipe. Or a woodcock. Why? Right in the middle of the trail too and I never seen him. I said right in the middle of the trail too and I never saw him. Well guys, we think he plopped down here somewhere. So Fred's going, Fred's there. I'm gonna have a look here because he might have kept going through the clear cut. Why? You came here somewhere for sure. That sucks. I just turned the camera off too, man. I mean, you can't get them all. That's where the fun is. Some beats you. Yeah, just have a peek over that knob because I got mine here yesterday. Like, all this looks great for him, but it's so thick. You literally have, like, a split second, eh? It'd actually be kind of hard to get the camera on. That's fresher moose tracks. I don't believe they was there yesterday morning. Yep, coming up on that big tree now where that one was hanging around yesterday. Heard a moose? Yeah. Or stopped him. Oh. 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 Moose? Yeah. Oh. 
What's he tell? He just grunted at me, you hear him? Yeah, I heard that one. But uh, that, that was a cow that was going to beach and shit. Yeah, they might, yeah, very well, they could be going down shore. Look at the tracks. They, we just spooked them out the trail. Oh, yeah. Guys, there's a roughy over there. Now where he just went, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I know, I shot him. Dog down over this? Oh, he's right here. A gray face female. Is he dead? Lord, he jumps. <laughs> cool. Just perch up there. But uh, that's not the one we saw yesterday, I can guarantee you. It's smaller. Yeah, brain's right out of her. Perfect. A little bit of a smaller one, but still a bird. Cool. So guys, um, when grouse hunting gets a little rough, like road-wise, that's honestly the main method you're gonna hunt rough grouse and spruce grouse. So you're, you're gonna catch them in the roads, but they're not always in the roads. Some people don't realize that they don't have to come to the roads to survive. They can stay in stuff like this. Like this guy was nowhere near a dirt road. He was by the trail, sure, but there's no gravel in the trail. He was, uh, he was by a creek bed, or she, sorry, was by a creek bed. And that's where they can get their gravel. Or like here, you know, they can sift around in the moss and pick stuff up. They don't have to come to the roads. So. Like I said in every single grouse video, and I'm gonna continue to say it, walk the woods. Walk the woods, walk trails, and you're gonna find grouse. There's no way about it, you're gonna find them. You know, like spruce grouse are everywhere. You can find them, I've seen them on bogs. You could find spruce grouse anywhere. Rough grouse, you know, they tend to like, uh, rough grouse tend to like thicker habitat and terrain like what I'm in now. And I mean, that's where that guy was. Holy crap, there's another trail. Is this our trail? I guess so. But yeah, well, I just accidentally found the trail, but basically what I'm getting at is grouse are a bird of edges. Like if you can find the edge of a trail, edge of a road, edge of a cutover, edge of a brook, you're you're probably gonna see birds. Yep. Hold on. Big rabbit, guys, big, big, big rabbit. Run, Fred. What a size. We're rolling here. You uh, veer out to the left. Okay, you go right. Step on a brush pile, because he very well could be in one. Yeah, guys, with that rabbit one. I'm not sure how good I got on video, but what a size of a rabbit. Now, buddy, this is where you're gonna catch one. Catch a rabbit underneath this tree. Not today. No, I know, he was like directly behind a tree when he stopped. Yeah. And I mean, when he took off there, I might have it on video. I'll slow it down when I edit and see. I could have shot at his hindquarter. 
but there's no point to do that. No. That's like 80% of their meat. I'm not gonna shoot it if I can't eat it. Exactly. All right, guys, well, me and Fred's making our way back up the trail now. Um, so we've seen two grouse in this trail. And I mean, we only walked in yet, opposed to like 12 at least I seen and heard yesterday. But I mean, I kind of expected that hunting the same trail two days in a row. But uh, you know, it is what it is. It was worth it, 100%. There's a bird bagged. And uh, we're only just getting started hunting, really. Only walked the trail. We're uh, gonna head her back out now. And we still got the whole trail to walk out. And that's where I seen most of my birds yesterday was walking back. All right, guys. So the dirt road is probably 500 meters up there. And uh, Fred's gonna go in a nice ways. I'm gonna walk the trail, he's gonna walk that. And uh, we're gonna hope to push birds back and forth to each other or drive them at least. Cause yesterday, this is where I seen a lot of them in between the, the dirt road and this big stretch of brush. Not so much in here around the birch, which is where you think they would be, but uh, mostly in there. So we're gonna see if this gives us any success. Yeah, boss, Fred just heard a grouse coo. So you can make fun of me for what I'm about to do, but oftentimes you'll hear them coo when they get nervous. It's like, oh, oh. so when it does that, it's a good indication you're around some grouse. So I think I'm gonna pop up Witten there now and help him locate them. Yeah, guys, and Fred's not going crazy. I just heard it as well. Straight in front of me somewhere. And this is about the area where I spooked the two yesterday. Grouse just flew out to the trail, guys. Or towards it. Uh, crap, I don't know. I think he went to the trail. You be careful walking through the woods there. There might be another one with him. Ruffy. Man, I don't even have a clue where he would have went. Well guys, uh, that trail wasn't nearly productive today as it was yesterday, but that's understandable. Like I was literally here yesterday. Real water on the lens there. Um, yeah, like I was here yesterday, but I mean, it was still productive. We saw three grouse, we got one and we saw a rabbit. That in itself is a good day here hunting in my book. Um, but like I said, this is the first walk we've done. This was our first destination this morning. And uh, I don't know, might, I don't even say nine o'clock yet. So we still got most of the morning here. Let's see what we can get done. Got him, buddy? Take him. Thanks, buddy. You're frightening the crap out of me. He just goes, look, 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 spruce. <laughs> was he in the road? Yeah, man, we almost ran him over. Oh, I didn't even see him. Well, Shruck's right there. He flew he right here. He was in the grass, that's why. Ah. Well, a bit of gore in this one. I hope you don't mind a bloody grouse, Fred. Well, you got him right in the head, but he just broke his leg with how strong his wings flapping are. Hope you don't mind a bloody grouse. Fred. Yeah, you get the bladder the size of a grouse brain. Well, guys, when Fred's done his urination, we're going to walk this trail here. It looks pretty good from the road. And I mean, I know where it goes to. I've just personally never been down here. Looks like good roughy habitat and grouse. Or, uh, and rabbit, I mean. So we're going to give her a go. Are you serious? That's like half fresh too, Fred. Somebody left the whole moose liver in there. I would have ate that, man. That's good. I don't know what you're leaving that here for. Oh, thanks, buddy. So good morning, guys. 7.30 here in Deer Lake. Um, now, you might be seeing that song behind me, No Hunting. And that's what I'm doing. I'm hunting, but I'm not hunting there. Um, that's just a multi-purpose trail. Uh, and the only reason I'm even starting the video up here, uh, well, I'm going this way, is because... Like, I don't know what your reason is. 
at all. Especially uh, so close to town, like it pisses me off. Now, if it wouldn't, you know, baby wipes covered in probably human crap, I'd probably pick it up and pack it out on my way out, but I'm not touching that, sorry. Anyway, great start to our morning here. I'm gonna be heading in the road and I got a few trails in mind I wanna walk. Uh, we're gonna be going after some grouse and rabbits here today. Hopefully I can add this on to uh, the few clips me and Fred made. Um, yeah, might see a moose, might see something, you know, lots of wildlife where I'm headed here to today, or this morning, sorry. Um, it's just sprinkling. I think we're got, we got 0.4 millimeters right now, every hour. Um, I chose today to come out because the last three or four days, um, we've been having a lot of steady rain. So this is the one morning where it's really been kind of slacked off. Um, not that I'm scared to go hunt in the rain or anything, but uh, it's just after some grouse and rabbits. So it's not obviously, I don't desire to go out in the rain after that. I will, um, like I'm here today, it is raining, but uh, you know, they're gonna be tucked away and everything when it's raining hard. So I got up early this morning. Um, Waited a little bit for it to brighten up, and now I'm out. Um, you know, right at daylight. Daylight, I believe, today was exactly 7.31. So that's pretty much right now, or a couple minutes ago, as I said. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get in the road here, and hopefully I'll catch a couple on the road going up. Um, the less walking I have to do today, the better. But uh, I will do it. I prefer to walk. Just, just kind of a lazy day today. So, uh, yeah, I've got the 16-gauge with me today, and we're going to get going in the road here, see what we can do. So I've just come up here, and... You if you're local, you definitely know where I'm at, and that's fine. But I just flushed like seven woodcock up. Um, we call them sniper around here, they're the same thing. Um, I've never tried them, but there's a few here, so if I can get more than one, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, and knew we were coming into a couple ponds, so I did get some steel shot for the six, for the 16 gauge, in case we saw some birds. All right, so we're loaded up. One went right by that trail. Like just in around the bend and the rest of them went like in here by these trees really like genuinely sounded spot on to a grouse when he flew there he is So I'm just gonna walk up this trail here and see if I can try to recover that one that I shot. He's down up here somewhere. Man, this place is loaded with them. And uh, I'll try to remember when I edit this to slow that down for you guys, so you can see. Well guys, I just spent probably 10 minutes looking around that area. And unfortunate to say it, but I can't find him. Now, I'm not gonna leave him completely yet. I know that that happens. Sometimes you're gonna lose birds and stuff. Um, it happens. I hate it, this part of it. If you guys actually hunt, you know that it happens. Um, yeah, anyway, we're gonna leave him for now. I know the area was, it's on my way back anyway. So we're gonna go in the road some more. We're gonna stop here on the way back. Well guys, I almost ran her over. Oh, there's two. Okay, there's two grouse, one up there and one right here. Usually I'd never turn the quad off, but they already know I'm here and it'll make for a better video. I'll zoom in on them here now that my camera's on them. Looks like two hen spruce grouse. So I'm just gonna take the two and uh, cause they are hens. I'm trying not to shoot hens if I can help it, but I'm gonna take the two and whatever else is in the woods they can they can stay in the woods. No, I lied. There's no, there is two. Get that shell in a second. See how close I can get to this guy. There's the one, clean headshot. That's crazy how close you can get. All right. 
So, cool. I'll grab them shells in a second. Alrighty, cool. We got two uh, spruce grouse down. Now, they are both hens, but, uh, you know, that's what I was. There's lots of spruce grouse around. I know there is. Yeah, like, clean headshots like that. Um, that's why the full choke in the 16 gauge does come in handy. Uh, some people get a... Look up that shell there. Some people get a bit mad that uh, me and the boys in my video shoot grouse on the ground. Like, you'd blow them right to bits if you didn't. Um, no, I'm not saying that's what happens all the time. Obviously, people shoot grouse flying in other places. Pick up another shell there. But, like, if you're from Newfoundland, I'm sure you're going to see some trails I'm going to walk today. And I might not have to by the looks of this. But, uh, oh, there goes another grouse. Just went in over that knob there. But uh, I've got two out of this group, so... I'm more than happy with that. We're going to leave him or her. I don't know what it was. Yeah, we're going to leave that. Anyway, I'd much rather shoot them on the ground and get a clean headshot and be able to eat 100% of the bird than, uh, you know, shoot them flying and risk busting them up. I'll shoot them flying if I got to. But, uh, yeah, cool. It's two down. Up this first one. That's a bit graphic. That's why the 16-gauge full choke is pretty good. Clean kill. You don't get much cleaner than that. The other one's right there. I'm going to go grab her now. There's the other one. A little bloody there. I'll probably black and white that. There we go. Cool. Two little sprucies. Be some good eating there. Alrighty. Yeah, they blended in so well. I can't believe that. Like, I, I knew they had good camouflage and everything, but... That's alright. Those two aren't going to be the, you know, last two hens of the species. So, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, we're going to keep going here now. And uh, like I said, I let another one go. So, Zari, we're going to see what else the morning brings. Alrighty. We got another one at least up there in the trail. Um, looks to be a male, so I'm probably going to take him if it's a male. And I was saying to myself while I was driving, I'm only going to take one more spruce grouse, and it's going to be a male. Um, after that, I'm going to cut myself off on spruce grouse today. There's no real amount of pressure up here. It's really only me, honestly. Um, it's very close to where I live, so I would know. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take that guy, I think. Um, yeah, and then if I see another one, I'm just going to try to get some nice pictures of it. I honestly like shooting them with a camera as much as I do with a gun. So, we're going to go see if we can get this guy here now, or size it up. If he's a relatively small bird, I'll probably let him go. Completely happy with those two, and I have a video now. So, uh, yeah, let me see what we can do here. I can tell you now that that's a bigger bird, so he's definitely not gonna get let go for the reason of he's small, because he's not. Well, I just nipped the living crap out of my hand there. Y'all can see that. It actually hurt like hell. Yowzers, okay. Owie, 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 yeah. A grown man just said owie. Oh my goodness, yeah, that hurts a lot. It is a male. I'm gonna see if he's gonna fly up in a tree for us or something. Can you fly up in a tree? Can you fly up in a tree? There we go. Let's get a cool little video of you. I might let you walk. let that guy walk i'm gonna go tend to this here cut on my hand i'm just walking back to the quad now that actually hurts a lot another one right up there we're gonna take him i don't feel bad now knowing there's two here let's do that okay i'm gonna drive up this way i'll pick up my shell then 
this really hurts. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna run and grab him and I'll go back to the quad then. I'm just pouring some water on it. it don't look bad, but it says pretty raw. Let me show you what I did actually. Went to close the 16, oh, that's disgusting, that's my skin. Okay, anyway, I went to close the 16 gauge and uh... Oh, that's gross. That's really gross. Ew. Yeah. Be careful, guys. So like I said, I'm cutting myself off from spruce grouse now. Mostly because I don't want to frig around with that. That hurts like a son of a gun, man. I can promise you. Yow. It's right blue and blue. Oh, well. Anyway, I had to say that in mind. No, it's not. It really hurts. <laughs> um, yeah, I cut myself off from spruce grouse. Um, you're probably thinking, well, there's two back there. I'll go get a picture of the other one. He gone. I already checked. Um, into the bush. I don't really want to go trompsing around in the bush for a picture of him. I'll get one in the road and I'll drive him up in a tree. Like I did with that guy. I'll just drive him up into a tree and I'll get a picture that way. Um, yeah, I enjoy getting pictures of them as well. Um, I got enough there for me. So, uh, yeah, cut off from spruce grouse. See if we can get a rabbit or a roughy. Steering would be nice in this old quad, I'll tell you that much. Well, guys, just hopped off the quad. I was gonna walk this trail here, but I think I heard a bear. I didn't get that on video. I yelled back at it. Um, yeah, it sounded like a black bear. So I'm not gonna go down there right now. Um, you know. Could be a mother and a cub. It growled twice, and it sounded like a bear from videos I've seen. It sounded like a bear. Didn't seem too far away, maybe 75 yards or so. Um, you know, I've only got number four bird shot. So, there's enough to kill it if it were to come at me, but I'm just trying to avoid the thought of even having to kill it. Don't want that to come at me. So I'm talking a little louder and uh, yeah. There's a bear down there, so I ain't going down there. Scared the crap out of me, too. Quad's only right there. I'm gonna get out of here so I can avoid an altercation with a black bear. And probably uh, make my way home now. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, I'll catch you on the next hunt. If we see another bird on the way back, we'll uh, see what we can do with him. See what the deal is. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next hunt.